Hey, everything literally almost just fell on the floor. Anyway, hi. Today we're going to be doing a video that I randomly thought of whilst clearing out my makeup the other day. No, I didn't film a declutter. I remembered after I decluttered everything. I was like, oh, I could have filmed a declutter because I know someone asked that last time. But yeah, I just thought I would do a video where I'm basically just using a load of makeup that like I don't talk about on camera, but I am obsessed with. I don't know what the thought process for this video was, but I just found like, they're kind of like hidden gems basically. Um, and I've just got a lot of stuff that there's some stuff I haven't actually used in a while or there's like some things that I don't show on camera for like specific reasons. And yeah, we're basically doing a full face of that, if that makes sense. So this is the makeup look that we've done. That's basically it. So grab your beverage as always. I feel like I, did I forget to say that in my last video? Anyway, my camera light has died, so. I don't know what, how the lighting situation is going to look, but anyway, enjoy the video, relax as always. Alright, so I just put on a lip oil and realised I wasn't actually recording, but I just used the Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Lip Oil, and I don't actually talk about this a lot, I never mention it, I don't know why, but I keep it in my desk drawer, I use it all the time, and it is very nice and hydrating, you can see it gives a nice glow to the lips, very comfortable, and it smells like vanilla as well, so. Okay, so getting into makeup, um, I've done my brows and I've primed my eyelids because we are gonna start off with the eyes. What eyeshadow, it's gonna be a bit annoying. To be fair, I haven't used this in a long time. So I'm gonna be using a Pat McGrath palette. This is the Mothership 5, I believe. Is V5, like in Roman numerals? It says Mothership V anyway. Yeah, this is the palette here. Well, this is the like the box for it and I just kept it because it's very expensive. Here she is, very, very heavy, very, very luxurious, very pricey. And this is what the palette looks like. So you can see the color story there. Very me, very warm toned, very bronzy. These eyeshadows are some of the best eyeshadows I've ever used. The reason I don't use this palette is because Pat McGrath is not cruelty free and I bought this when I went to New York actually. I got it from Sephora and yeah, I got this before I actually went cruelty free. So that's why I don't use this on camera. And to be fair, it kind of gets pushed to the back of my drawers and I don't actually ever use it. So it's gonna be nice to have a little reunion with this because it just kind of sits there and it just doesn't get any use. So let's do a... Uh, Quicky little eye look with this. See, I usually gravitate towards the gold. I think I haven't even used this palette in so long. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the look I usually do. So I'm gonna take this brown here. I feel like it's been so long since I've like sat down to film, like. I feel like I did my yearly favourites video like a couple weeks ago and then I just didn't film after that for a while. Yeah, so I feel like I've literally forgotten how to do eyeshadow because I haven't been wearing any makeup to work, not gonna lie. And that's something I never do. Like I always have like foundation on or like tinted moisturiser or just something light. Even like a bit of concealer I would usually just have on, just a little something. But I've had literally nothing. I've been wearing nothing to work, just bare skin. Is Pat McGrath, I don't even know, like is Pat McGrath a brand you can get in the UK or is it literally just, like is it on like Selfridges or like Cult Beauty? I'm just trying to think now, like I don't even know anywhere where you can get Pat McGrath but yeah I'm not, I was a bit like 50-50 like whether to actually just use this or use a different palette because obviously I don't want to be promoting a brand that I don't use much. And obviously with her brand not being cruelty free, I don't want to promote it, but um, honestly when I just like looked into my drawer and I was like, what do I literally love but I just don't use? Literally this video, this was the palette that just jumped out. So obviously I'm just gonna do a very, very simple eye look. I'm gonna just take the darker brown from, the actually I might do the lid color first. So I'm gonna take the gold, I'm gonna try it with a brush, but I'm gonna just try it dry first. And like I said, it's kind of like a first impression to be fair, because I honestly don't think I've used this for like two years, at least. Like, I can't remember the year I actually went to New York, but like I haven't used this for a while, because literally when I came back, I think that's when I decided to go cruelty free, which 
it's kind of annoying because I did buy like a lot of stuff. <laughs> I bought a lot of makeup from New York and like I got a lot of like Maybelline things. Obviously they're not quasi free. But uh, yeah, I remember buying a lot of Maybelline stuff when I was in New York and then I got back home and I was like, oh, I need to go cruelty free with my makeup. <laughs> Cause like I was changing like my diet at the time. I was like going vegetarian and I just started to think about animals and everything a bit more. The damage was already done. Okay, so with this gold, it's quite, it's very glittery as you can see, but there's not like a lot of pigment in there to be honest. Like I probably want it to just be a bit more like opaque. I'm gonna use the darker brown from the palette. Which is this one. Lovely. Okay, I think I might just kind of tap over. I might use this white here, it's just like a glitter. This is like such a unique shade because it like it looks so wet when you just like press it. Okay, so as far as eyeliner goes, I'm gonna use the Essence the Dip Waterproof Eyeliner, little liquid liner. literally just forget to use this because I'm so used to using the next one okay so for mascara I'm gonna be using the lights camera lashes from ta I think this is the reason I don't use this because it just the packaging <laughs> is so annoying I think it's a wee bit old Okay, it's not an eye look you've never seen before, is it? All right, let's get onto the face. So for primer, I'm gonna use the W7 24K Priceless Primer Serum. So it's just kind of like a glowy face oil, basically. But I feel like it's not super slippery and that's why I do really like it. So it does have these little like gold like reflex in but it's not like glittery and you can't like see them on your skin it kind of reminds me of that farsali face oil like that gold and those primers were just literally it like everyone went absolutely mad over those but yeah i do like this i'd class it as more of like a dry oil if that makes sense like some oils are just like so slippery and very greasy but this i feel like this actually sinks into the skin really well look how nice that is lovely so for foundation i'm going to use the number seven hydro luminous foundation this has been one of my favorite foundations for a good couple of years now i think I stopped using it, I think, because I got the wrong shade, and then I got this shade, which is deeply beige, but I don't even know if this is. I think it's it's very cool toned, so I can't remember if this is actually okay for me or not. Mm. I'm gonna use my Sigma flat angled brush. I think the undertone is just a tiny bit too cool. Yeah, this is a tiny bit. You can literally see my skin is a bit olivey, a bit yellow. Can you see the difference? <laughs> yeah, it's just a tiny, tiny bit too cool, I'd say. This is the thing, I don't know what my undertone is. I don't know if it's, because I feel like it's not warm, but it's not too cool so i don't know if it's just a neutral undertone i have no idea because i feel like it is a bit warm but it's not like pinky and it's not that yellow it's just like a tiny bit so maybe i'm neutral undertone i don't even know right, concealer i'm going to use one of my absolute faves this is the milk makeup flex concealer and i use golden sand in this 
it's not looking as warm on camera. It looks okay, but it's very warm in person. So it's not going with the foundation shade. Again, this is like a perfect everyday concealer, I'd say. It blends out really nicely and it's got pretty good coverage as well, to be fair. While I just swapped over my camera battery quickly, I have powder in my hair. Um, I just powdered my under eyes and I used the Glossier Wilder. I have no reason that for not using this that much. I don't know why I don't. So I've just popped that under my eyes. I feel like it blurs the skin really nicely as well. And it's very lightweight. So I'm gonna do blush first because it's a liquid and then all the rest are powders. So I'm gonna use the Colourpop Cheek Dew Serum Blush. This one is in the shade Kiss Kiss. Watch how nicely this blends out. Like, it gives the nicest, nicest glow. Can you see that? This is really nice to use if you're someone like me and you don't really like using highlight. Alright, so to set that down, I'm going to use the Essence Bronze Me Up Blush. This is their matte touch blush. So I did actually get rid of my holy grail, my favorite, which was their satin touch blush. And I think that was called satin bronze because I swear they stopped doing that. And then like my lid like broke off and it was just the whole thing. Sadly, I don't use that, but yeah, I just always forget about these. And I swear if they still are, these used to be like a pound. Okay, so bronzer, I've got two different bronzers here. So the first one is again from Colourpop and this is so old, but I can never part with this. They don't sell it anymore. It was a collab with Alexis Red, but highlights from bronzer palette and it's called Topaz. If you have this, let me know because this was iconic. And honestly, I don't care for the highlighter. It seems a bit too deep for my skin tone, to be honest, but I feel like it'd be a really nice eyeshadow. But the bronzer is just something else, honestly. It is one of the nicest bronzers I've ever used. There's just something about like the undertone of it, like it's perfect for like bronzing, but then also contouring as, as well. Obviously it was limited edition, but like, if you got this, let me know. Then I did put another bronzer in there because I thought it was a bit shit of me to just put one that you can't actually get. But I don't use this because it's just, it's kind of pricey, but I do really like it, but it does smell weird. I don't know how to explain the smell. It just smells like something. It like, it reminds me of something like when I was younger, but I don't know what it is, but it smells really bad. But this is from Kosas and it's their golden bronze and it's in the shade medium, this one. And I am going to use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. This is the JH01 brush. I've never used this before, it's huge, but... We're gonna use it. I'm just gonna put this everywhere, to be honest. Yeah, it's just a very nice glowy bronzer, in all honesty. And I'm gonna use the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist from e.l.f. I just forget, cause like I'm kind of, I go through like setting sprays just one at a time, like I just keep this one which is the Jen Atkin one. I just keep this on my desk, but then this is one that is in my drawer, but it's so good. Like the mist on this is so fine. I don't really know like lip liner wise, like what I don't, or maybe these elf ones. Yeah, I'd probably say these elf eyeliners cause they were limited edition, but like you can get them like from TK Maxx if you just kind of go and just have a little look around. They're from the Retro Paradise like lip kit that they did. And it comes with a gloss and three eye lip liners, I believe. The two nude ones are obviously my favorite. I'm gonna use the lighter one of the two. I kind of want to do a video that's like limited edition products that I wish weren't limited edition 
but then I also feel like that would be such an annoying video for people that would like want something from the video and then obviously you can't get it. I think we'll just, we'll just forget that. All right, and then again, sorry to be annoying about this, but this is my favorite lipstick to ever exist that's ever been created and Colourpop don't sell it anymore and I can't understand why. Like it was literally one of their best sellers. I've gone through so many of these and I think this is my last one now. It's a brand new one. Like look, it's fresh. It's uh, in the shade Strip. I don't know why they don't make this anymore. It's my perfect nude. This and LA Girl Cafe. I miss this lipstick so bad. I'm actually gonna check if they do definitely have stopped doing this. I honestly don't understand. Like, why would they ever discontinue something that is so popular and so well loved? It makes sense to me, but I'm sure there's a reason behind it. That's it for the video. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you like this very simple look. This very easy look, this very boring look that you've seen a million times before. So let me know any products of these. Oh my god, if you have this, if you have this Alexis friend thing, please let me know. Like, I, I have to know. Who has this? Who still has this? And uh, yeah, let me know any of the videos you want me to do as always. My hot chocolate has gone disgustingly cold. And I will see you in my next video.